I'm here uh, today also with representatives from Diesel Conversions, one of our uh, private label customers that we've been working with now for about a year. They do some very exciting things um, and we're pretty excited to be involved with them. They actually manufacture a complete turnkey system that allows you to transplant a Dodge Cummins diesel engine into a 6 liter or a 6.4 liter Ford and made it to the Ford transmission using the Ford factory drive systems and we make a product very similar to our pedal max for DCS um, and they came to us with a pretty pretty big challenge they wanted us to create a system in a throttle controller that would plug into a factory Ford accelerator pedal with an, a single output that went to the Dodge Cummins ECU and an additional output that went to the Ford transmission control module to provide a seamless integration between the factory Ford components, the additional Dodge components, and do it in a fashion where a consumer could basically plug and play in just a few short minutes um, eliminating all splicing uh, or anything that was required previously uh, with their system, streamlining it for the consumer and for the installers um, in the future uh, to continually develop and add in um, a much needed high idle feature for diesel trucks that use a PTO type of application where they're running um, another type of um, device or system um, that's driven by the factory engine. It could be a log splitter, it could be uh, any number of things, something that would be used in a farm uh, implementation or, or type, type of application. And uh, the high idle, idle feature will basically use the, the control knob that we would normally use on Pedal Max to increase the sensitivity of the throttle that will in, in place allow you to turn the knob up and set the idle as high as you would like for your PTO application uh, or for a warm-up type of application in the mornings in a cold weather type of scenario and then that could also be deactivated by simply applying additional throttle input or just touching the brake pedal would deactivate the system. So there's many different ways to control it, but the end user would be able to control the level of idle that they have based on the type of load requirements via the PTO. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure talking to you today, and enjoy the show.